Hello, it's Avi, and I'm going to be giving an animation tutorial today, and as, well, you could probably tell that from the sketchy bad frames that I have not finished with butt noses and everything, and yeah. Today we're just going to focus on the beginner stuff. And right now, we're going to talk about programs. So, I use Photoshop Elements 7, but um, I know a lot of animators actually do use MS Paint as their first animation program, and though I don't recommend it, I still can use it. You can make animations with MS Paint, it's just a lot more time consuming to me, and I prefer using programs with layers. And if you can't afford Photoshop or something like that that's more advanced, you can always go and go to this cool t blog for artists called Artist's Toolbox, and it's very useful, and it has a lot of references, but if you go in the program tag, it also has free art programs, and one I'd recommend is Fire Alpaca, because I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, but there's also other good ones, but I, I, I'm not too big on other programs, so I wouldn't know. I'd just recommend any program with layers. Those are the most um, useful programs for me, at least. And if you didn't notice, I'm listening to random music from my favorites <laughs> in the background. So first, since I'm assuming most people have MS Paint, or at least Windows 7, Windows XP, whatever version you have, I'm assuming you have Paint if you're on Windows, of course. I'm not sure if what, what it would be for Macs, but I'm sure you have some sort of art program somewhat like this, and what I usually do um, is just not with the brush. Brushes suck. Don't use brushes. Brushes are hard to use when you're animating. <laughs> um, what I like to do is just take a pencil and draw the picture. So I'm going to do that really quick and cut when I'm done drawing. Okay, because I'm too lazy to make it good or anything, I'm just going to say after I do I, I do this, I'm going to say I'm done. Ha ha ha. Nobody will ever notice. Alright, so you got your drawing. Um, I recommend taking this stuff out just in case. But you can also... Well, whatever way you draw in Paint, or whatever program you're using, is fine. But in Paint, I usually just do this so that I can easily change it back to black with no other um, extra colors in there, so that it's easier to work with. Normally, I would um, recommend to make the Line Tool, but I'm just showing how I would animate in Paint. With normal animations that I do in paint, I usually use this, or I zoom in a lot so that I can do really more precise lines, but with like no holes because that will screw you over later. Um, but since, again, since this is just an example, it doesn't really matter to me. So, next, if you're using paint, you're going to. Um, use like a different color and then just draw over it and keep doing that as your next frame but I don't really like doing that because it's harder to do so if you use paint that's what I'd tell you to do but the rest of this tutorial is going to be in Photoshop element 7 because that's what I use I also recommend if you have a tablet to use it, but if you don't have a tablet and you're used to using a mouse for drawing, which is weird to me, but acceptable, um, I'm okay with that. Okay, so, before I get into anything else new, um, I'm going to say this is where you should definitely make sure you have things right. You need, well, you don't need, but you need a um, consistent resolution for your, uh, for your canvas. I usually stick with 640x360 because then I can kind of make it a little easier for me so that I don't have to draw as much on a, as big a canvas. But for, um, action scenes, which we'll get into when we go to more advanced stuff, um, 
then we'll change the size to 1920 maybe. But for now, this is fine. Click OK. Um, if you're in this paint, the way you can do this is go to File, and then Properties, and then enter the canvas. So, um, with this I always use a brush, but you can also still find the pencil tool. But I prefer brush on this program because it's layers instead. Now I don't normally use the background in the final um, save, but I have it there just in case. Um, and it's a lot easier to draw with than just looking at transparent box things. So I would say make a new layer, do not draw on the background layer. It will screw you over. <laughs> okay. So first, whatever color you prefer to sketch with. Normally I go with the color of the character, so I'm just gonna draw a simple character. I'm gonna draw Eve from my show. That doesn't show up until the second episode. And then you sketch, and you just... I usually just do the proportions first. So, just, just draw whatever you're drawing. And then draw the character. Alright, so, there's Eve. Notice how I haven't drawn her face yet. And this is because we're going to draw just the nose. And the mouth because right now we're just focusing on the eyes blinking. Okay, so, to make an eye blinking, I recommend using a different layer, but having the rest of your little animation character thing, whatever you're doing, in the background, just like that. And then doing the eyes on a different layer so you can name it if you want to. Um, when I'm sketching, I don't really pay attention to it, but it's helpful if you're making a very long animation. If you can't tell, I was very lazy with the nose, oops. Also with the eyes. All right, so you have your first thing. I'm gonna draw the eyebrows back on layer one, but sometimes it's better to have the eyebrows with the eyes because um, the, eyes, the eyebrows actually move when you close your eyes. If, like, you can close your eyes and open them and s feel your eyebrows moving. Yes. Yes, not creepy. After you make your first frame, um, you can either save it or you can just keep going. I usually keep going. I don't save. <laughs> I'm, I'm living on the edge. <laughs> what I'll do is I lower the opacity to whatever I can just tell it's not part of the thing. So stuff like 95, that's not going to help much, but like 70, a little better, but still not. I'd say 40, well, 30 to 50, depending on where you're at. I usually go down as I'm um, continuing the movement, and you'll see what I mean. Um, and then I just draw the next frame. Sometimes I draw the last frame which is actually sometimes a lot better because then you can just draw the frames in between. So I'm going to do that now. So now you have the last frame. So you have an eye open and you have an eye closed. Look. Look at the eye closing and opening and stuff. Anyway, so now what you want to do is kind of put them both at a low opacity so that you can see them kind of overlapping. And then you can either um, you can make a new layer in between them, and you can either lower the opacity or just keep it the same. I normally keep it the same unless I'm, like, needing to see how different it is. Um, and then you just draw in between those for whatever you think that the eye would be at. So, I've done a lot of eye-blinking animations in my day. I'm an oldie, so I kind of know where to put the eye at, but if you need help, um, what I'd recommend is looking in a mirror or something and just paying attention to how your eye blinks and stuff. You also don't want to put too many lines um, in between stuff, but if you do, um, just kind of lead it in so that it doesn't look all weird and just pops in randomly. I've had that problem a couple times. It's always the other eye! It's always the other eye, guys! You know my feel. 
I know you know my feel. Good advice I can give you. If you can't see if like if all of the area you're doing is black when you put all of the layers at um full opacity, that's a good thing. That means that you've um made it like y you've done it smooth enough so that it closes properly. But it depends how fast the eye is blinking too. Normally I do like five, six frames, but sometimes it's just about three. So for some people you might be done here, but I like to go a little further and make in between frames in these two. So gonna do the same thing here. You have also might have noticed how, how extremely sketchy this animation is so far. It's just how I do it at first. I don't really like um, putting too much effort into it when I'm just doing it. But what I do when I'm animating, it's just a lot easier for me. This isn't, this isn't anything. I'm not making, a, okay, there. I'm not making any music videos. Shh, shh, shh. No tutorials. No, 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 no. Shh, no music videos. All right, so I'm gonna put it as I blink. Um, this is really, really convenient for me when I'm saving things. So what I do when I save is put one dash one. The one signifies the movement that I'm on, and this well, the first one signifies the movement that I'm on, and the second um, signifies what frame the movement is at. Sometimes, if I don't have enough frames in the final thing when I'm putting it together, um, I need to make another in-between frame, so I like to put another dash one as the in-between frame, so one dash one dash one would be in between one dash two and one dash one. If, if that was too confusing, sorry, that's just how I do it, but there, you can do your own thing, that's fine with me. So just save all of those, I'm gonna do 1-1 dash one through 1-4. One dash okay, so now that you have all of your frames saved, um, you might just want to put this as your first movement. For me, that's what I do, so I put it as 1. Um, I also make uh, the background when I'm done with everything and just make it there and then just hide everything else and then show the back, like export the background as 1.png. But we'll let that wait. Go to wherever you saved it and you have these. So what I do is use Premiere Element 7, but I realize a lot of people don't have this program, so I used to use Windows Movie Maker, and I'm gonna say it can be done, you can use that, but I'm not sh it, it's worthwhile if you're going to animate a lot to invest in a better program, but, you know, Movie Maker can work, it's just hard and very time consuming, like you can't even scroll on there unless you animate each scroll one by one or get a custom um, effect download and I... <laughs> Other programs that I've heard of that are really good are Sony Vegas, um, so some people use iMovie, I'm not, I've never used that so I wouldn't know. Um, there are a lot others but I use Premiere Elements because it was in a bundle and it was low priced for Adobe, so I just went for it. So make a new project or whatever you're doing with your program thing. Just make it and be like, I blink or whatever you want to name it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know. Do you know? I don't. All right, so here's your window. You have the display thing, which will display anything on your timeline. And you have these things, which are your frames, but I'm, those are actually my organizer, so I'm just going to drag these frames in because I'm too lazy to pick those. <laughs> so drag those in, whatever um, program you're using, and then put them onto the timeline. But I put them on one at a time. And you'll notice that norm, nah, you'll notice that normally the 
increase it is like five seconds but you can zoom in and shorten this to however to however you want but normally I use the step button or the arrow keys and I go like two three steps forward with only four frames I'm gonna go three steps um, and I delete the rest so I'll keep doing that with the rest you don't want to go the same amount of steps you did for the other blank parts and open eye should actually be there a little longer yeah there you don't want to go th the same amount of steps you went for the other frames you want to go a little longer because the, the closed eye just kind of sits there for a bit so you want to put it there and then split it and then you copy these frames over or you can just do the same thing but I prefer to copy because it's less time consuming and then you just have that again and then you can keep copying it if you want and then you just have your eye blink there's your eye blink yeah, you learned how to make an eye blank. Woohoo!